In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a signature to your Gmail account, add a logo, and also resize the logo if it is too large for your signature. So the first thing you need to do to create a signature is go to your settings gear symbol, click on that, and then the settings icon, the settings menu option shows up. Click on that, and it'll take you to a page where you have lots of options. The first tab, the general tab, is what we need. So we'll just scroll down here until you get to your signature section. Currently it's set to no signature. If that's what the case is, then there will be no signature. So you click yes signature, and over here you can start typing your signature. So for example, if I want to do my name, um, okay, and I want to put my phone number, right? Now I want to change this to be, let's try uh, Georgia and make it larger and make italics too. Looks nice. Okay. Next I'll put in my website. And to make that work, I'm going to add in a link. So now And the last thing to do is insert a logo. So to go to the logo, you have to insert an image, but the image needs to be available on the World Wide Web. So I have a, I have a graphic here, okay, on my hard drive, which is a logo that I want to use. But that's not going to be helpful until we can get it into the web. You need a web address for it. So one way of doing that is open up your drive. And then I can take my logo, put it in here. So I'm uploading my logo. Now that's done, I will right click on the logo and get shareable link. Sharing is now on, and this is my link. It is copied to my clipboard. So I'll go back to here. I'm going to insert the image. Look at that. I actually don't need the URL because it's right here. So I'm just going to click on this, hit select, and here it is. Beautiful, exactly as I want it, except that it's monstrous. So the way to fix that is I click on it one time, and now it gives me the options. This is original size, large, medium, and small. So let's try small, a little too small, let's go with medium. Ah, just right. Okay, so now that's here, that's our new logo. And one thing that I like to do is to insert this signature before the chord text, meaning if I'm replying to someone, it's going. this is gonna show up before what I'm replying to. So do that, and then also most important is save changes. So we've seen the changes, we get back to our main box here. I'm going to hit Compose, and you will see now that here is my signature, all ready to go. Hope that's helpful. Have a great day.